I said, God thought it, Holy Ghost wrought it, Jesus bought it, I caught it. Now watch this. <laughs> See, here he is. A white man led me to Jesus, but he had the blood of Jesus all over him. And when I got under the same blood he got under, you couldn't tell which color neither one of us was. I said, the blood of Jesus, we all look the same. Somebody help me up in here. In the blood, we all look the same. Am I right about it? And uh, when you get fired, it humbles you. I spent 430 days outside the game. And God has brought me full circle and changed my life. I was dead and he saved me. And so I'm a transformational coach now. It's not about wins or losses. It's about love. It's about building men, building relationships that will last forever. I got a second chance. You know, there is no greater honor, and this is, yeah, I could preach. It's what I wish our, our country would get back to. There's no greater honor than the sacrifice for a brother. The soldier fights not because he hates what's ahead of him. He fights because he loves what's behind him. And it's time that we start thinking about what's behind us and stop being selfish as a church being willing to step into battle. Folks, we're going into battle, and it is not going to be easy, but we will be victorious. After 34 years of dedicated service in the fire and emergency services profession, seven of which committed to the city of Atlanta, I could not imagine that my fairy tale childhood dream come true career would end in termination one week ago at this very hour because of my public expression of my faith. This experience has taught me that there are worldly consequences for publicly standing for righteousness. But I stand before you to say that the kingdom consequences are far greater and more glorious than the worldly consequences. And pray that God pours out His grace on the United States of America. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. So if you're filled with the Spirit of God, you're going to have some joy in your life. And if anybody ought to smile, if anybody ought to shout, if anybody ought to laugh, it ought to be the people of God in the house of God singing the praises of God, hearing the man of God, preach the word of God, we ought to celebrate! We've been saved! Hallelujah!